Hello, and this is a VCV rack tutorial. This this one is so all I'm I'm, I'm hoping that almost all my my tutorials are be, beginner friendly. I, I I'd say that um, that was the the intention, and I just say that the 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 there's a lot of power in in being a beginner and even if you think you're advanced to to approach things in very manageable steps is the best way I can put it because we often get overwhelmed and especially when we think about synthesizers like this is one reason why I personally don't own a modular synth is because I don't want to spend my nights thinking about new modules and what plugs into what I know what happens with this stuff the imagination I, I have enough trouble as it is with with picking guitar strings that, that that's my conundrum this week is getting the right gauge of guitar strings and the fun of going back to the music store to get some new ones so that, those are three dollar those are one dollar to two dollar items a single guitar string can you imagine what what it would be like to be in, inside a modular mess but that's the the benefit of of this vcv rack and helping people you understand what is possible with with modulars and maybe you'll say I don't need I don't need a, a modular but enough talking so this <laughs> this this synth that I have for you today is what we're going to work on is just two oscillators and we will uh, have a sequencer trigger it and I also will yeah, that that's basically it. And then it runs through a delay. And so what I'm about to hit play on this, and then I'm going to remove the items and we'll start over. It probably won't sound the same, which is the beauty of this. It's very improvisational. And I hope I can remember how to get the patches there quickly for you. It, it'll be a nice little challenge. So let me, let me go do that. I'm going to hit play and you'll hear it's quite messy. So that's um, that's what's happening, and I hope you're excited for this mess. And let's see, let's play the game where Elliot now has to remember what to do. <laughs> oh, no, oh, take it away from me. I'll hit save just so I can give you this, this template after. No, they're all going away. Okay, so the first one was a VCO. And this is, uh, let's do one VCO to start with, but I do want to put it into a mixer. The, 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 the original goal of this tutorial was actually to do two oscillators without um, a keyboard controlling the pitch. So it was actually meant to show you drones, but then I remembered that someone had asked about the sequencer. So I said, let's do that. So... Let's get the sine wave. So the sine wave output of the oscillator will go into the input of the mixer and that's active. And then the output of the mixer, I'll do mix and I'll... Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. So I was about, so this is an overdub obviously. So I, need, I was about to plug in the output of this mixer into the sound card, but what I didn't, what I forgot to tell you is, is that the sound card comes at the full volume up here. So in this signal flow, I would, and I, if I took the mix out of here into this, into there, that would be a full blast of a sine wave. And I'm sorry if you went ahead and, and did that 
very quickly. Um, as I said in the first time I made one of these videos, it's 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 very possible that you will uh, blast your ears, and that's actually why I typically use the mixer. And I would I think the smartest thing would be just to take that down to zero and then put that in there. But the other thing is just maybe set this so like I have when when we get back to this video, set that down there, set that down there. That's a better better way to not blast your ears. Always be careful about keeping mixers low. It's probably one of the best things I can ever help people if they're getting into modulars. Okay, back onto this video. Put it into the mono of the sound card. And that's our pitch. And I can turn that down. Second oscillator. So this is the fun. Turn them. So I have two oscillators. Um, it's a mono signal path at the moment. Now when I, I change the, the frequency of one or the other, we get what's called beating, which is something you can experiment in its own. And there's no stereo effect. It's it's because um, we're in mono. So stereo could introduce some interesting things. But in order to do stereo, I would have needed a third-party mixer from the, the VCV library. And I don't, I don't really want to get into that right now. But that's how I would... This thing has a panner on it. From what I can tell, I can't pan the, the mixer that comes with VCV rack. So let's delete that. And let's get a sequencer. And so the sequencer, you just turn on the steps. I think what, the, what this is what turns the steps on. And then I will get the CV output into the pitch. And, let's, and I will use Alt on my Mac to get a second cable into the, the pitch. And... Uh, yeah, so now it's running, I think, because I heard the pitch change. So only this row is coming out of... This is this is a CV row, and, and that's changing the pitch, and it's not changing the gate. So the volume is it's just running, and that's what we're going to deal with that after is this issue of it's just running all the time and what if what if I want to break from it and that's what the mutes does I could put the mutes on right now um, so that's a quick off kill switch I can take CV2 and put it in pulse width modulation. I just have to check something quickly. Yeah. Okay, so the I'm not hearing much in this. Oh yeah, I gotta turn on the. So I'm I'm not really sure if I'm doing anything on this CV CV2 is going to the P, PWM. It's I'm just not hearing. But this is the thing is. We, Maybe I'll put it in FM. So one thing that has not happened is I don't have any control over any musical scale. And this could be fun too to have it, have it free running outside of the musical scale. But Quantize helps do this. So let's... Um, quantize... Uh, what is quantile? <laughs> Quantize. I had this in the last patch. Uh, I think what I need to do ooh, 
is I think quantize is kind of like an effects pedal. Yeah, so it's it's going to take the Yeah, so I got to disconnect this this cable. And then do this alt trick, which I think is yeah, alt and command on the map. So my notes are going into this quantize, and then they will go into here. And then I can switch on and off notes on the keyboard to, to hook them on. So in my demo before I had them. Ooh. So I've picked C and, and B flat, which gives it a, that's part of the blues scale. But, but it's very wonky because I've added in modulation on the, on the FM. I think that's one of the reasons and I, I, I shouldn't have done that so early, but sue me. Let's take it back down. Offset by semitones. Okay, so we're almost done this operation. <laughs> and um, the next thing is we want to get a, a delay, a filter and a delay. So voltage controlled filter in, uh, in. And I want the low pass. That's the sort of my what I call the wah wah pedal. And this has some drive in it. Keep them together. And then the last one we'll add is a delay. I didn't see a reverb in the um, in the uh, stock modules, but um, delay can do some reverb type stuff if you turn the time. There's some stuff with a low a low. Can kind of have a reverby sound. So a lot to play around with, um, just a few modules. I, I, would, I don't think you need to go crazy um, stacking more stuff. See if you can, let's say you could record this somehow and then play some music. Let's see if I can get my guitar.
so yeah. I think it's hard... It's hard to find the pitch because I've... Who knows what the frequency of the oscillators is. But that's the fun, is go through... Don't be afraid of being in between um, logical pitches. That's This is what modulars are great for, is, is that in the, in the real world, everyone's everyone's so rational. Hold on. Everything's so rational. Like when you buy a keyboard from the store, that um, it's very like the the sounds all load up normally. Everyone wants a piano. Everyone wants this and that. And with modulars, we can do stuff where we're in between all kinds of frequencies and pitches and and then and I, I play a guitar over it which is kind of conforming to um, normal scales and pitches who knows how well in tune it is right now but but we can find things in between in between rational um, structures so I don't want to get too much into that but but that's the experience that's the best thing here and also in this case there's no like grid um, when I work in Ableton Live, everything's on a grid, and it's quite quite frustrating. In this case, the grid is only the clock coming from the, the sequencer, and I can just show you before I stop this video. There is a way to, sequen the, to synchronize the clock of the delay and the... I'll take the output clock of the sequencer and clock it into the delay. And I don't really know how that that works, but that's an option so that your your delay is in sequ is is somewhat in in the clock of the. I'm hearing it. Um, it. Woo! Also, just a reminder: we're in mono, um, which is a good. Yeah, mono mono also helped me do the the screencast because I was able to. Something involving the microphone, hard to explain too, but... Okay, let me know if you liked it, and uh, look out for more stuff. I, I love I love doing this and sharing, and I'm also learning as I go too, because I never really used VCV Rack very much, so... Um, and this is the free version. <laughs> Should have said that earlier, but... Okay, uh, see you soon.